Hi friends. I'm chewing bubblegum bazooka bubblegum. It's the original bubblegum. It's big and pink. Sometimes you can blow bubbles. Let's see. I don't think I can blow one today, but I wanted you to see what a big piece of chewed bubble gum looks like. It's big and pink and sticky. It tastes yummy. We're going to talk about some sticky things today. I have a few sticky things on my tray. So bazooka bubble gum is sticky for sure. And if you stick it to something, it's going to stay there because it's sticky. Just like, what's this? Glue stick. That's sticky. Glue sticks have a purpose. If you rub it on something that you want to fasten, a piece of paper, and fasten it to a project, oh gee, or fold it in half and stick it together, it's going to stick. And it's a good thing. Glue is a good thing when you use it for a purpose. Tape is sticky. Oops. Tape is sticky. You can tape a message to your friend. And it has a purpose. It's useful. Scotch tape is very useful. We wrap presents with tape, all kinds of things. Stickers. We like stickers. This is a postal sticker. That's useful too. It gives information and it sticks to a package. Now, a piece of candy. When you squeeze it between your fingers, it gets very sticky and very messy. So that's not useful. So you want to bite the candy carefully. Chew and swallow. Not squeeze it between your fingers because it's sticky. And the last one is lollipop. We like lollipops, but when you lick it, oh, it gets sticky. And if you put it down somewhere or get it touching your clothes, it could stick to your clothes. So we're going to play what's missing with our sticky things today. Can you see the tray, everyone? So we have glue stick, candy, bubble gum sticker lollipop here it goes i'm going to cover it up what's going to be the first thing to be missing aha what is missing i see the sticker i see the bubble gum lollipop glue stick Candy is missing. Sticky candy. Try it again. Okay. What is missing? Oh, I forgot the tape. Oh, well. I'll put the tape in. Let's put the tape here and the candy there. Okay. Ready? Let's try it. What's going to disappear this time? Glue stick. Good. I heard you. Very good. And glue sticks are fun and safe and they don't get your fingers all sticky because you hold the stick and the glue comes out at the end. Good job, everyone. Let's try it again. Sticky things. What's missing? Can you see what's missing? Bubble gum, scotch tape, candy, lollipop, glue stick. What was here? 
Somebody said it, a sticker. Stickers are lots of fun and we use them for labels and for postage stamps and stickers. Okay, let's try it again. What's missing? Did you see? Where was it? It was here. What was there? Bubble gum. Yes, good eyes. Good thinking and it is very sticky. Okay, one more time. What's missing? It was right here. Who said it? Tape. Yes, tape is very useful and we use it all the time very carefully. We can stick things together and repair pieces of paper. It's a wonderful sticky thing. Well, thanks for playing my sticky game. I have a story about things that got stuck and it wasn't a very good thing. On Account of the Gum is the name of this story. It was written and illustrated by Adam Rex. She doesn't look too happy. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, she's snoozing. My friend is just having a little relaxed time. And she's coming out of her room yawning on account of the gum. That's the gum, the bubble gum, right there that you got in your hair. Oh boy, that's not a good thing. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still. And your sister said, duck. And you sat very still. Dad was going to cut the gum out of her hair. I don't know, did it work? Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, we went to some websites and all of them swear if you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along. I see, it appears that those websites were wrong. The butter is stuck in her hair too. Oh boy, don't give me that look. She's upset. Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have grass in your hair. Your aunt thought the grass would get the gum out. Oh dear, now she's got green stuff stuck in her hair. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacon noodly mess with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Hmm, your rabbit eats grass. Shall they try a rabbit? Oh no. Why did Grandpa put noodles and bacon in her hair? Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assume that your rabbit could help us in there. But your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. Oh no, not the cat. Her head must be getting heavy. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch, she'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. Let's see. Oops. 
Oh, no. Wait, no. I'm thinking of the old cat, not this cat. Oh, dear. Your aunt just came back and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. Though the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. Oh no, it's her birthday. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus every few seconds we'll pop a balloon and the guy with the bees said he'd get them there soon. And oh, I hear sirens, the firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same with their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop. A big pot of chili, they're ready to stop. She's had it. Get out, please. Everybody left. The firemen and the police and the dog and the bees. Jeez, said the bubblegum and jumped off her head. How rude, said the bubblegum and walked off. So that's the solution. Well, what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Whoop, now your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? Oh, no. Anyway, you'd better get to school. Oh, no. How can I go to school like that? Because otherwise you're going to miss picture day. Picture day. Not like this. On account of the gum. What a day. Oh, dear. I hope you didn't have a bad day like that little girl. I hope you had a great day. Thanks for listening.